Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn about how you can embed the files, videos and images in any of the Confluence page. So we are working with the Confluence cloud. So this tutorial will be completely specific to the cloud version of Confluence. Now adding the images, videos and the files in Confluence page is very important and very simple. So I'll walk you through all the key steps that are required to add or embed the files and videos to any of the Confluence page. Now, generally how you will go through and navigate to the particular page will be through the spaces. So space would be relevant or it will be specific to any of the project within your organization. So uh, for the engineering department, you might be having a couple of spaces and within those engineering department you can have multiple pages within them. So say for example, this is the documentation space that you want to open. So this is documentation demo space that we have created and below that you will have the pages, right? So in the left hand side in the menu, you will see the page section and say for example, I want to add the images into the sample page. So I'll click on sample page and just edit that particular page. So to edit the sample page, you will see this little pencil icon to edit so click on this pencil icon and then the page editor will open right so here you will see all the options here and in order to add the images it's very very simple so what you can do is you can simply click on this icon little icon here you can see if I hover over this I can see files and images so I can simply click there and it will open the file or the window pop-up to attach or select the files from my system. So say for example, I want to add the logo. I will simply select the logo and the logo will get added to the page. If I want to resize the logo, uh, simply, you know, you can just drag and drop. So you just hover over and you'll see this little icon appearing. And if you just pull and, um, you know, push across, it will resize accordingly. Then if you select this particular icon, you can center it, uh, you can left align, right align, and you can wrap text, etc. You can add the link to it. So say for example, I want to open the website rcvacademy.com. When somebody clicks on this particular icon or uh, the, the image, then I can add that particular link. I think it didn't add it, so let me add that and hit enter okay so now you can see edit link appears now so the link has been added there if you want to specify all text you can specify that and all the alignment details are possible so this is how you will add the image the other option is to simply wherever you want to add the image on the page you put your cursor there and just press forward slash okay and then start typing files and images, right? So you, you can see files and images appear and just double click that and it will open the same window. And here, say for example, I don't want to add image. Now I want to add some file there. So I can add the Word document or any other document. I can add that. So the, this is the text file I want to add. I'll select it and click on open and you can see this confluence.txt got added, right? So this is how you will add any sort of file to the Confluence page. So we have seen to how to add image to add the file. You can go to the little icon at the top or you can directly follow the shortcut, right? Now, please remember one more thing that this is the new editor. So if you see this publish and close icon here as we are working on the cloud version. So the new version or the cloud version of Confluence will have the new editor. There will be legacy editor as well, which might not work exactly the same way as I'm explaining in this particular tutorial. But I believe if you are using the cloud version of the Confluence, you will be definitely be having the new editor in Confluence and all the buttons and icons will be exactly the same, right? Now, say for example, you want to add a video into your page it's also very simple you can simply select or a point wherever you want to add the video uh, put your cursor there and just start with forward slash and you can simply start with and start typing in widget connector so there is a macro widget connector 
to start typing in widget and what widget connector macro does it embeds you can embed your youtube videos flickr uh, slideshows twitter stream google docs and other content from the web right so you can simply select widget connector and then you can provide the url okay so i have copied the url already i'll select the url of the youtube video and then here you can specify the pixel width and the height of the video so if i just select the preview at the moment you can you can see that this is the video from my other youtube channel software testing mentor which is uh, the selenium or the software testing and automation channel so this video appeared here right and if i want to change the width and the height i can change the width say for example to 800 and height to 400 i can specify the width and the height height accordingly if i preview it now you can see the width and height of the video have changed right so let me change it a little bit to 300 to 600 and 300 and then embed it so once you are fine with the preview um, you can simply click on save and the video will get added right so widget connector will display start displaying the video there you can edit the video here you can change it to center or go wide or full width so depending how you want to appear the video on the page you can specify these selections accordingly right so this is the shortcut if you want to select uh, the widget connector you can also select it from this plus icon here so you can click on this plus icon and go to the view more and here you can find the widget selector or widget connector as well right so you start typing widget and it will give you the macro widget connector from here as well and you can select widget connector and insert it right so that is possible as well so shortcuts are very, very helpful and easy to use on the Confluence pages. So I would highly recommend to get familiar and comfortable with the shortcuts, right? So now once you are fine that these are the files, the images and the videos that I want to add, you can simply go ahead and publish, right? So once you publish the details that you have edited on the page, all the details will be saved and you can see that I have the image here right that we added and which has the link so if i'll click on this particular image it will open the url that we specified right so this is the url that we specified that got opened and here is the text file that we attached if you'll click on it it will open the text file and you can view it and then in the video got embedded and the height and width of the video has been adjusted accordingly i can simply watch the video within my confluence page which is pretty cool feature i would say right so you can see that these are some of the ways you can utilize in your confluence pages to add the images files and videos which will make your confluence pages much more presentable and very easy to follow and use right so that's all for this tutorial on how to add images, videos and files to a conference page. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.